Hello and welcome to News Talk on Inside Lane, where you can get your dose of motoring news every week. Coming up this week, the 2017 Honda Civic hatchback sets sail for the USA, the 2017 Range Rover is revealed, and we get our hands on the beastly Mercedes AMG C63 S Coupe. Those are the headlines and this is News Talk. Back in March, we got our first look at the new Honda Civic hatchback in the form of a concept car. It was striking, it looked exciting, but we all sat there and thought, surely the proper car is not gonna look anywhere near as good as what a concept car does. Obviously a concept car being quite often a figment of a de designer's imagination. But lo and behold, Honda have released some official pictures of the finished car now, as it makes its way to America for the first time. Yes, the hatchback will be coming to America to join the Civic range. Um, it's built in Swindon in the UK, massive production plant, and every single car that finds its way around the world will be built there. That's the hatchback, that is. Um, now, it's going to stateside. Uh, the first boat has left Southampton in the UK, bound for America. The car officially goes on sale this fall. For the Americans, it's powered exclusively by a 1.5 litre turbocharged engine, and the highest output from that is 180 horsepower. And there is a manual option there as well. Um, a Type R will be on the way, uh, but we're expecting to see that at the very earliest tail end of next year. Um, bearing in mind that the current Type R isn't all that old, production life cycles have to be preserved and sporty models tend to come a little bit later. Though I do appreciate that you guys in America have been waiting for Type R forever. But it is coming and it will be based on that hatchback. And if the standard car is anything to go by, it's going to look really good. Now, the very plush and opulent Range Rover has had a facelift, or should I say, some real major work doing to it, actually. Facelift cars, you know, where you usually just a, a set of headlights would pass muster, are becoming a thing of the past. These updated models are now becoming more and more intensively updated. Um, the new 2017 Range Rover gets extra autonomous features, autonomous braking, active cruise control, and it gets the added, uh, the addition that the rest of the JLR range have been having, which is the wide 10-inch uh, display there for infotainment. Um, so obviously that's, that's really good to use, actually. It gives you a lot of peripheral vision when it comes to navigation from past experience of using that. But the big thing is the addition of a supercharged V6 option with 335 brake horsepower. That'll get from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 7.1 seconds. And that engine's actually straight out of the Jaguar F-Type. Now here at Inside Lane, we get to play with a lot of nice toys and the Mercedes-Benz C63 S Coupe that we tested last week definitely ranks amongst them. The big bruiser of a muscle car from Germany is back in a slightly more um, civilized demeanor, let's say, but it still retains a brutish V8 and an engine that sounds like this. Zero to 62 miles per hour takes just 3.9 seconds and it'll go into a top speed of 155 miles per hour. It was an absolute blast. Go and check out the full review of that car for the complete interpretation of what we thought of a machine that takes on some tough competition, including the BMW M4. Just before we finish up, as a quick side note, we put a video out just earlier this week about, um, there's a lot of hoo-ha about the Focus RS in Australia at the moment and drift mode, and does that make the Focus RS a dangerous car? Should it have drift mode? Shouldn't it have drift mode? Should Ford be responsible for any accidents that happen on the road, or should it be the fault of the idiot who decides to actually push drift mode out on the street? Um, I put out a little video discussing that because there's a lot of talk about it at the moment, so I thought I'd throw my opinion out there check out the link to that video um, and let us know what you think in the comments of that video because it's it's, called, it's a big talking point this and um, it'd be interesting to see from your perspective. But other than that, that's it for this week and I'll catch you guys next week. Very much for watching and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for more on the latest and greatest cars to hit the road. For all of the latest automotive news, written reviews and coverage from motor shows, go to www.insidelane.co.uk.